So this place exists here because of wild salmon, because of the attempts over 46 years of volunteers to try to bring back and successfully bring back wild salmon to the streams in Port Moody. I guess uh, it was two and a half years ago we started uh, actually testing water quality and as a, a long career as a chemistry teacher this was kind of up my alley although I still didn't know um, I had a lot to learn. I think uh, I have realized how critical um, the water, the quality of the water and the for the aquatic environment is important to all wildlife in, in, in the streams, especially salmon. Um, um, and when you see the life cycle of the salmon, you see the salmon coming back and you see all of the, you, you start to learn about all of the, the um, how difficult it is for them to make their migration out and come back. Uh, and that's what really kind of has excited me about the whole process because there's, I think there's a lot of things that we as the human race can do to actually help them. Uh, BC wild salmon, this is something that I discovered uh, about eight or nine years ago uh, out here and fell in love with it at Mossum Creek. And I realized that I can make a lot of friends doing it and I found uh, that the salmon is a way to learn about the history of the province and I met a lot of uh, First Nations people that I get together with and celebrate salmon and uh, I discovered that I actually can do something about it and help. People have been involved in that, uh, that attempt, uh, that exercise, it's been successful and it's meant a great deal to an awful lot of people in terms of uh, building community building friends, uh, bringing family, generations, learning, uh, learning about uh, wildlife and watersheds. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's been a phenomenal journey to uh, be part of this uh, BC wild salmon. Uh. Well, we all need to get these salmon because they are the backbone of BC.